We'll start with a uh, Mustard S82, size 6. This is a heavy nymph hook. Put some tying thread on. And they have to go about halfway here. There we go. Get rid of that. Now we want a Zonker strip, brown Zonker strip or black or beige, whatever you want to use for this. This is a dragonfly nymph. So you want a piece of skin about the length of the hook shank, maybe a little bit shorter. So we'll just cut that off there. Now what we want to do is take the skin and don't cut the actual skin itself, just cut the hair. We want a dragonfly shape on the body, so you cut it at an angle like this. Get rid of that. Leave a little bit on at the top. We want that as a as a veiling. But just cut that to shape. Like so. And that's going to be your dragonfly abdomen. And when that gets wet, you will see that it pulsates, it actually lives. That's good. And we want this loose. So let's give that a twist. And we'll tie that in there. Like so. There's the rear of your dragonfly body. A little bit too much there. So I'm going to take a bit of that off like so. Just have a look at that before I... Still a bit too much. I'll take a little bit more of that off. I just want this to go back, press that down, like so. That's good. I'll just go around there again. And then forward to turn it down. There we are. There's the abdomen done. Now, just secure that correctly. Take a drop of tying glue on that. Let it soak into the skin and just go over it a few times. There we are. Very good. Now, we need some bead chain eyes, regular bead chain eyes. You can colour these if you don't have, uh, if you want to make them black or whatever colour you want. And we'll just secure these behind the hook eye. Figure of eight like this. Up and go back again. Not really much about that, but fly tying cement and glue on the eyes. Just straighten those up. and straight now and we go back a wee bit now what we need is a zonker strip again of the same colour but what I do this time is I don't want the guard hairs on this so I'll trim off don't have to be neat with this trim off all the guard hairs and put this in a clip and we have to split the tying thread like so put this in the loop centralize it a little bit and give that a spin there we go Good, one more spin. There we are. All caught up and done. 
Now we make a couple of turns at the back like so. Then we take some rubber legs one in on that side one in the other go in front of it in front of it in between the eyes back there, I caught that in the wrong place, there we go, like so, that's right, that's right, and we tie off behind the hook eye, give it a whip finish, and the leg out of the way, one more, the tying thread and then we can trim down the legs if we pull all the legs together like so without stretching them and then we trim them off they'll all be the same size and that's it that's the bunny dragon uh, it's a great pattern when it gets wet all this hair collapses and undulates in the water. It's an excellent pattern.